Steven Milhausen here at Fightful.com. We're talking to the one and only Marty Skrull. He's, he will be he's right at the all-in press conference. And if we, this was one year ago, do you think this would even be taking place? Would it be possible? Would it, would it be possible in your mind? Would it be taking place? Um, it's hard to predict. It's certainly something that, as uh, you know, a wrestler who loves pro wrestling, it's, it's certainly something that we've always kind of wanted to do, for sure. You know, have that alternative product uh, and that platform for us to perform on. I feel like there is obviously uh, a demand for something different, and I think we provide it. So it's just a case, I think, of getting out there, letting people know. So there's something cool going on and uh, hopefully the people will come. So, when I thought it was possible, maybe not, but you know, as, as this moved on and we made it you know, more of a thing, it seems more and more possible. The closer we get away, today's the first day of ticket sales, I guess it started, well it's starting like a few hours, um, so yeah, I guess you know, time will tell, but it's exciting, like I feel like we've made such a splash now that we can't be ignored and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited. Yeah, I, I can't wait to form. We're gonna get to the thousand, like for sure. <laughs> no, to me, you know, you know what's been going on in wrestling seems like kind of like in the in the in the nineties. You had the grunge era where it seemed like with Nirvana really leading the way. Oh yeah. Does it feel like that to you, where a revolution is really yeah, going on in wrestling? Oh, you know, with punk rock, with DIY, we're at the establishment. You know, I think that's why people think it's cool. Do you know what I mean? Like. Everything is organic, everything here is authentic, so we're real, do you know what I mean? Like, so, yeah, I think that's why people, that's why they, 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 they take to us. And we're giving them content all the time, obviously, on the YouTube show, the TV, um, and, you know, they're getting that interaction with us. Like, we're probably getting more, how, how would I say it, like, time with the viewer, building more relationship with the viewer than, you know, a mid-card guy gets, or even a main event that gets a more, you know? They might get a two minute segment, but we do that, you know, 15, 20 minute episode every week. You know what I mean? People get to see us and see what we're up to. So, um, yeah, I think it's, you know, we're aiming to make wrestling good again, you know, hopefully doing a good job. You know, when you're, when you're sitting there at night and you're away from everybody, you know, and it's just you, or you're in the car by yourself, do you even think of how surreal this all is right now? Sometimes, yeah. It's, uh, it's a crazy time. It's probably one of those things that you, know, you won't appreciate it until later on you're back like, whoa, that was crazy. But no, quite often. Especially like, you know, I, I started wrestling for so many years, making no money, not having a pot to piss in. So, it, yeah, it's a really good time. Yeah, it's a great time for wrestling. You look at that and you just said that and you were making no money. Was it ever in the point in your mind you're like, do I really still want to do this or was it just the passion you had for the business? Always wanted to do it. You know, if you love something, it doesn't matter, do you know what I mean? Like, I, if money was an object, I'd still be doing what I'm doing, do you know what I mean? It's not... Yeah, it, it's you know, it's more to be a wrestler. As cheesy as it sounds, do you know what I mean? Um, but no, I always... I always think if you believe in yourself, yeah, it sounds cheesy. But, uh, you know, it, it, it wants like bad enough. Do it, you know what I mean? So I never envisioned anything else. Honestly. Who was your favorite wrestler growing up? Loads of guys, you know, love guys like Roddy Piper and Terry Funk. Um, yeah, Bret Hart, Rey Mysterio, Christian Liger, CM Punk, Brian Anderson. It's a good list, right? <laughs> You did pick. You picked a pretty. You picked some good ones there, and we'll ask two more questions. And if you had an opponent, and if you had thought about who you would really want to fit, because really nothing beyond Cody saying he's going to challenge for the NWA title, is there a, an opponent that you would really like to face on the show? Um, I don't. Uh, I mean, there's a whole bunch of guys that uh, I enjoy, but I think what would be nice is. Obviously, I'm contracted with Ring of Honor, um, so it's going to be Ring of Honor guys on the show. But that's about you know, if I wrestle with those guys, it's a match I can do at Ring of Honor. So I'd like to think I can wrestle someone who isn't about Ring of Honor, and you know, just do something new and do something different in America. Um, that's what I'd like to do. But in terms of names. Uh, no, I legit don't even know. Nothing's really been confirmed yet in terms of cards, which you probably think I'm, I'm joking. It's serious, you know, <laughs> wrestling changes so much now, like, Cody's trying to put a card together like eight months ago. Like, dude, this is going to change between now and then, you know, people get, you know, loads of things to happen. Do you know what I mean? No one knows where everyone's going to be in September, so 
Yeah, I don't know. In terms of dream opponents, uh, you know, I want to say anything because obviously they're just going to steer one way, uh, and then maybe make a narrative that isn't quite true. But, uh, either way, I'm, I'm hoping to be highlighted uh, in, a, in a good position and uh, you know, for, a, for a good performance for the ten thousand people. It's a nice uh, rendition you sing right at the end there, and uh, you should come out with this. You, she come out with a CD in the near future. Uh, Belt out a little yeah. couple more tunes there, my friend. No, I'm not, uh, That's a pretty. That was pretty good there. You know when like you watch those TV shows? I think in the UK we have like the X Factor. In America, it's maybe something else. But and, and they go on stage and they've got to sing and they completely forget the words. That's like me, like every weekend. But I still have to perform. <laughs> yeah, when they forget the words and break down. That's me every weekend. So no, I don't think there'll be any album anytime soon. Thank you for the time, Marty. Thank you, buddy.